Hi, Annette Neal from PRD Whitsunday. This week, of course, it's wonderful and sunny here in the Whitsundays once again, and we've got the glorious weather as we head into the warmer months. It's certainly heating up. Now, I spent the end of last week and over the weekend in Perth at our national conference that we do every six months, where we get together the leaders of the various PRDs from around the country. While there, although Perth, beautiful city, I have to say, if you've never been, it is a stunning place. Now, we did have a look at what does city living look like in 2050? And we had a look at what is currently available in Perth. And it was interesting to see that they're foreseeing, obviously, in cities, there's so much spread that we can go out. Where do we go after that? Well, we have to go up, of course. So looking at quite high density residential buildings, and of course, people are paying a lot of money for those. So we saw some apartments there, looking at about the $1.5 million mark. And that got me thinking, what can you get in the Whitsundays for that? Or what does an average home here cost? Well, for the last six months, the average house price here is 660 and the average apartment price is 339,000. So 660,000 for an average home in our 4802 postcode and 339,000 for a unit. Now, of course, you compare that to city living when we're looking at one and a half million as an average in an apartment block. Well, I have to say the Whitsundays certainly presents really good value. Not only that, you also have this glorious weather and the glorious outlook behind me. So maybe think about the Whitsundays as an investment opportunity. Great rental yields available and relatively uh, easy market to find something affordable in to purchase in comparison to the capital cities. So give us a call if we can help you.